Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, NATO is alerting. They're putting NATO's putting together three hundred thousand troops on high alert in readiness for a confrontation with Russia as fears are growing that Vladimir Putin is preparing to attack the West. Now, this could be a lot of just built up hype to um, a fear mongering against Vladimir Putin. But there's no question Putin does have 90,000 troops along the eastern Ukraine border. He has 40,000 along the border of Ukraine with in Crimea, and he's moved uh, thousands of troops along the borders of different uh, NATO nations. And of course, he's put these missiles uh, and these Iskander, uh, Iskander uh, missiles in Kaliningrad, and there's a lot going on. So now NATO chiefs, thrown into a panic by fears that the Russian President Vladimir Putin might attack the West, they're starting to scramble to put together a force of 300,000 troops, which they can put on high alert. The relations between Russia and the West have plunged and fallen into last year to basically almost non-existent, name-calling, finger-pointing, eye-poking. We've poked the bear so many times, and now Russia is just doing what it needs to do. And that, of course, NATO's not used to. And the reason this is happening because you have a weak leader. President Barack Obama is a weak, weak leader. And because he's so indecisive, because he draws red lines and never sticks to them, because he's create chaos in this Arab Spring in the Middle East, the Russians are just saying, look, we're not going to sit around and wait to figure out what Obama's foreign policy is because it's a mess. We're not going to let Russia be destroyed with the migrant crisis that's going on already in Europe. So, and look, we just don't know. Because of the weak indecisiveness of President Obama, Putin has decided to take over the Middle East, basically. He's going to do it. He's building air bases. He's in Syria. And he brought along with him the Iranians. And now looks like the Turks. So, and ISIS continues to do what it's doing. And so it's getting uglier by the minute. We're going to try to stay on top of this. Now, I've got a some breaking news I want to share in my next video. I'll be back in just a few moments. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern, folks. It's getting really, really crazy. Oh, and by the way, uh, happy birthday to Billy Graham. He turned 98 today. The evangelist is still with us. We're all still here. But Jesus is coming, and you don't want to be left behind.